up guys welcome back to boxer studios and today we're going to take last week's workout and put it into today's workout which is taking it to the heavy bag now grab your gloves and let's get to work <music> most important benefit of hitting a heavy bag is cardio. And the cardio is gonna help you burn calories, burn fat, and get that muscle tone and great look that you've been always wanting to achieve. Hitting the bag also is a great stress reliever as you know, you just wanna bang the shit out of it to try and just let it all out. But you know what? We're gonna teach you on how to apply that to the bag so you look good, you got technique, and it also feels right, just for not for no reason. So we're going to talk about the different types of bags and the first bag we're going to talk about is the water bag and this water bag has a lot of great benefits and aspects to it as far as having a lot of um, resistance with your punches so by throwing a power punch it holds the hit and the force that goes straight into your arm and we're gonna get into that a little bit but this is the first bag that's able to help you with your boxer training so the next type of bag i want to talk about is a double m bag and this little baby right here is great for timing, reaction, and also to get accuracy on your punches. All right, and this is something I'm gonna get into on our next video that we're gonna talk about later on down the track, but it's great. Now the next bag that we're gonna talk about is this baby right here, the speed bag. Now the speed bag is great for your eye coordination, your timing, your rhythm, cardio workout, the whole works. Today, the bag that we're gonna work on is the heavy bag. And this is a 240 pound bag. I know you wanna hit it, I know you wanna crack it, and probably beat the shit out of it. But there's one really important thing. You need to find your distance from the bag so you're able to make those punches flow nicely on the bag and you get the proper workout that you're trying to achieve. So, the way you measure yourself and the distance from the heavy bag is by getting your jab, which is your ruler in front of your face. Let the jab out, all right? and you should have a straight arm, and that will determine the distance from where your stance is, where your shoulder is, and all the way where your fist ends in contact with the start of the heavy bag. So, I want everyone to jump in front of a heavy bag, you put that jab out in front, and that's how you know your distance. You don't wanna to get too close to the heavy bag, which a lot of people do. They try to cramp up, and they try to throw hooks, and they try to go a little crazy. I don't want you doing that. I want you to be able to get your distance right. Everyone has a different arm length. So some people have short arms, long arms, and the rest. Get that distance, keep it right, get that stance right. If you watched my last video, keep that right hand up and keep your body straight. So before you even make contact with that heavy bag, I want you to do something really important. Watch my last video on how to put hand wraps on. You need to have your hand wraps on before you put your gloves on. It's essential before any type of boxing workout that we do. So once you've got your hand wraps on, we're gonna put those punches into play. Make sure you keep your fists tight, you keep your hands clenched, and you be strong when you hit the bag, all right? I need you to make sure that you do that. Your hand and your fist need to be clenched correctly and firm as you make contact with the bag. And also, make sure that you got your ruler up and your defense. There's no point of throwing punches but you can't even have defense. When you're on the outside doing defense, you can stay relaxed, but as you come in, I want you to make a nice firm grip and make sure that with that power or how you're hitting the back is gonna flow through nicely. If you don't know what the ruler is, check out my last video on how to throw a punch and it will show you. Everyone wants to hit a heavy bag and try and get it off the ceiling and knock that shit out of it. But you know what, when it comes down to it, it's not about how hard you hit. It's about how to control the bag. You don't allow the bag to control you and you don't lose your technique of how you're trying to box. So the first thing I want you to do is you get in your boxing stance, all right? And the way you hit the bag is put everything into motion. Jab, it's just gotta be light. You can just do a real light jab, bang, light jab, bring it back, boom. Bring it back. Now, you see how hard I hit the bag? Boom, it's really light. I want you to start off by doing it like that and as the weeks progress, you start picking it up and building it up until you get comfortable where your boxing starts naturally coming to you on the heavy bag. I want you to hit the bag between 40 
and 60% at the best of your ability. And it shouldn't be too hard. It should be just enough where you use speed more than power. The power will come later once you start to step, step it up. And lastly today, we're gonna to talk about the bag movement and being able to have control over the bag because you don't want this bag to be controlling you. You know what I mean? You see that? Just nudges me. We don't want that. We want you to control the bag so when it comes forward, it comes back, it looks right. I can do my combination and step back. Come forward, boom, right hand. So that's what I want. I want you to have full control over your boxing technique on the bag, apply everything that I just showed you today and make that shit look good. And if you have any questions about your foot movement and you don't know what you're doing, just check out my video. The one that I had before about how to throw a punch and I break it down to the T. Thanks guys for watching this video today and stay tuned for next week's video about doing a 15 minute boxing workout with no equipment needed. Enjoy your workout today, kill those heavy bags and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Boom.